so guys welcome to tonight's welcome to, to tonight's webinar my name is annabelle and i will be your host for this webinar tonight um so tonight we're going to be talking about how do you choose a career um before we begin so i'm just gonna go through a, a few um so i'm just gonna go to go through a few information before starting the webinar um so first um um so um so so a brief overview about the nsa the national studying association is a nonprofit organization dedicated to bringing hope and empowerment to adults and children who stutter their families and professionals through support education advocacy and research um, so I will um so um so within the National Stuttering Association, we have the We Stutter at Work program, um, which is all about helping people who stutter um to achieve career success through practice, online job interviews, webinars, career profiles, and and employer education. Um so Myself, Pam, <laughs> and John, um, I'm a, we are part um, so of the We Stutter at Work, we, we, we Stutter at Work Committee. Um, so if you um so if you want to know more about the we that are at work program um you um you can you can go on the you can go on the on the on the website that is that is that is that is listed below um so Emma so for a few webinar guidelines um during during the meeting during the meeting for tonight um um, to ensure that we all have the best experience possible. Um, please, please stay on mute during the presentation because any feedback may be, may be, may be disrupting um, um, to the participants. <laughs> and to the people trying to listen. Um, uh, so if you have so if you have any questions or comments, please use the chat please choose please use the chat function um through Zoom. <laughs> and and those questions and those questions and comments um will be answered during during the q and a time and please <laughs> and please know that the meeting um so it is being recorded um so so when the recording will be available you will um you will be provide you will be provided you will be provided with it um through um through 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 the email you register to join the webinar hi me again <laughs> um, um so um uh, 
So tonight, um, so I have the pleasure, um, uh, I have the pleasure of having um two um two two participants um 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 uh, who um uh, who will um uh, who you um who you will hear from who have different experiences um and opinions um so about this so about the subject concerning how do you choose a career um first we have first we have Ashley Givens um she is a fashion photographer creative director and multimedia artist currently residing currently residing in D Detroit, Michigan. Um, Ashley is a recent graduate of the College for Creative Studies and is currently freelancing for political campaigns, fashion fashion startups and modeling agency. Um, um, Ashley likes to stay active in the NSA community, being a former member, being a former member of TAC. And currently she and currently she is she is on the D she is she is on the D she is on the D D E D E I committee. Um we also have we also have Ben North. Um, ben North is an associate attorney and Title IX advisor at Bino Law Group in Alexandria, Virginia. Ben has represented students and faculty in state and federal lit litigation and also within the Title IX process at private and public K-12 schools and universities. Ben has, also, ben has argued cases before numerous state and federal courts, the United States District Court for the Western District of Virginia, Virginia and Louisiana, Louisiana State Courts, and the United States and the United States District Court for the District of Maryland. Ben is a member, Ben is the member of the NSA and currently serves as the and currently serves as the NSA Young Adult Committee Chair. Um, uh, so now um so I'm gonna um so I'm gonna talk about the different ways um we can choose a career and then I will have the participants tell me tell me their experiences and their own opinions um so how do you choose a career well um you can choose a career based on your passion and and your skills what do you what do you love to do um what inspires you what are you good at um you could choose a career you can choose a career based on your goals so like what do you want what do you want out of your career the most um um so is it so is it your salary the benefits or the growth opportunities 
Um, you can talk to different family members, family members, friends, or professionals um, who work in various career fields because you will be able to get you will be able to get different opinions. Um, so um, so so the pros and cons. Um, so of so of different jobs. Um, you can search. You can search different job requirements, and because of that, you'll be able to make. Um, um, you will be able to make. Uh, you will be able to make a list. Um, so um, so of so of different careers to explore. <laughs> um, and the other way that you can choose a career, you um you can assess yourself, which is using 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 self using self assessment tools, um, um, career tests, and and personality assessment tests, um, so that you so that you can figure out what career field could be a good fit for you. Um, so I'm gonna bring it back. Um, so I'm gonna bring it back to the participants. Um, so, so Ashley, can you tell me how did you choose your career? Um, I. I. went to 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 art school for for photography um sorry my my dog is is barking at me also <laughs> um but i i i i I honestly just 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 went with what I really in 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 enjoy doing. Um, I had a lot of 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 hobbies in 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 high school and before that, but um. Photography and 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 art was was just something that I just like did 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 naturally. Um, so it was kind of like a natural choice, if that makes sense. Um, so that is 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 kind of how I ended up where I, where I am. And I'm really glad that I made that choice because I love what I, what I'm, I'm, I'm doing every, every, every day. Um, so thank, um, so thank you, Ashley, um, Emma, for, um, um, for the information provided. Um, so it seems that you chose a career based on your passion and, and your skills. Um, so I, um, so I think, um, so I think, um, so I think it is really great. Um, so that you, so that you were able to follow your passion and that you love what you do. Um, so Ben, can you tell me how 
how did you choose your career? Sure, well, uh, good evening, everyone. Um, as, as Annabelle said, my name is Ben North and, and I'm an attorney. Um, I think I can probably answer the question with a bit of a story. So, um, you know, growing up, I've always kind of wanted to help people through difficult situations. And originally I wanted to be a psychologist. I was a psychology major in college. Um, and, um, I found it very, very interesting. Um, but, but at one point in college, I, I worked for a criminal defense firm in DC. Um, and, uh, you know, just doing kind of legal secretarial work. And, um, I had this one assignment where I had to look at, uh, uh, police body cam footage and see, you know, if the police left any of their notes out, um, and, you know, didn't turn them over to the defense, which they need to do. Um, so anyway, I, I was able to to find a couple pages of notes that they hadn't turned over. Um, and, you know, I texted or emailed my boss about it. And I came to the courthouse um, and just handed them, handed my, you know, research or whatever to my boss. And then he just, he doesn't even look at it. He just hands it right to the judge. Um, and the judge uh, dismisses the case against our client. So that was like the, the, um, the, the experience of like what I'm doing actually makes a huge difference in people's lives. Um, like I just never wanted to uh, do anything else pretty much after that. So I, I like, I, I love what I'm doing. Um, I do civil litigation now, so, so not criminal, um, but um, you know, it's still a lot of arguing and making a big difference, I think. So, um, so yeah like like ashley i love what i do and uh wouldn't want to do anything else um well thank you ben um for um for um for the information for the information that you provided to us um so it seems that just like that just like ashley um you also followed your passion and what you were good at um and then that and then that was enough for you um to know what you wanted to do um um which is really great um uh, so i wanted to tell so uh um um so 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 a different experience concerning how did I choose my career? Well, um, so I chose my career because during senior year, during senior year, senior year of high school, um, my parents sat me down because I needed to have a career to um um to go to college um um, be um because before you you couldn't you couldn't you couldn't be un you couldn't be undecided um so for the longest time I never knew what I wanted to be because so, because so I because so I did not believe that as a person who stutters, I would be able to have, I would be able to have a career. Um, so in which people would respect me, people would listen to me. Um, so, so I was always hesitant. Um, so about choosing a career. Um, um so um, so during, so during that conversation with my parents, one thing came out was that I enjoyed helping people. I wanted to help people. So we chose the, the 
psychology field because um because because with a degree in psychology you could um you could work within various fields so in a way that was a safe choice for me um um but now um being a case manager so i really enjoy <sighs> So I really enjoy helping people. Um, uh, so it, so it, um, so it is. So it is at times very fulfilling. Um. Now, um. Um, now, how do you explore, how do you explore, how do you explore a, 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 a career? Um, well, well, you can go to career fair, you can go to career fairs, um, which sometimes happens in the community or uh, at a college, um, you can again take personality test um, um uh, to see to see what careers to see what careers align with your interest. Um, you um you could do you could do different internships paid or unpaid um to just see what things you enjoy doing um uh, you can um you can make a list so um uh, so of your skills so of your skills of your skills that are of your skills that are your strengths you can research different career uh, different career uh, options and you <laughs> and you can have informational interviews with 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 different individuals um, uh, to get to get to get different information so ben um can you tell me how how did you explore your career well kind of like i said um um, you know, I had that one job and that really kind of changed, changed, changed my trajectory. Um, following that, you know, I, I, I decided I want to go to law school. And, um, after I went to law school, I had some, some kind of professional connections that I had, had made along the way. And, um, that basically led me to my internship that I had my second year of law school over the summer and then they offered me a job and I've been there ever since since my like third year as a lawyer there so um so yeah I mean that's that's kind of how I explored once I I decided I want to go to law school it was pretty uh clear what the path is you know um but but that is that's how I explored um pretty cool okay okay so <laughs> So Ashley, can you tell me how did you how did you explore your career? Um well I, I also just just graduated um in 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 May. Um so it feels weird to even say that I like have a a career at this point. Um but I um I, I, 
I, I just fully immersed myself into the world of, um, of, 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 of art, honestly. I'm constantly going to, 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 to gallery openings in the area, um, different museums and, um, and, um, and, um, I, exhibitions um i i feel like you while exploring you meet a lot of like different people that you wouldn't expect when you put yourself like in that in that uh, er, area where where you want to be um i just produced my um my second book um for my 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 second photo book that was my my senior the the thesis project um and while just out and about I found this 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 cute little bookshop and um I I bought I was trying to buy a whole bunch of 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 of, of, of books just to you know get a feel of different types of of, of, of photo books that are are out there and the 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 guy at the counter told me that he like made one of the books that I was trying to buy. So I ended up talking to him for like an hour about like producing books and all of the cute little technicalities because I designed my whole book myself as well as taking the the, the photos for it. Um, so I consider myself still exploring my, 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 my career and, 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 and networking with, 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 with people. Emma, so I... Um, so I really enjoyed, um, so I really enjoyed what you said, um, so about, um, so about immersing yourself and the environment, um, you, um, uh, you want to, um, you, you want to work in such as going to, um, going to the galleries <laughs> And just um and just trying to make connections and networking because you real you really never know when the next opportunity will be here. Yeah. Yeah. Definitely. Um, I would just say like, just go um, to, to restaurants where I, I, I was going to restaurants where I knew all the cool artists were hanging out. I would go to the, the, their, the, their in Instagram pages, honestly, on the weekends and see where are they hanging out? You know, where are they going? What, 
Uh, follow them on Instagram. See what, what 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 galleries are they going to? Just be really nosy and just ask people about themselves. People love to talk about themselves. Mm -hmm. um, people love to talk about themselves whenever given the chance. Um, so I would just be asking people um, how, 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 how they got this opportunity. Oh, where's your, your, your studio space? I'm looking for a studio. Just common, basic, like human questions that mm -hmm. people are, people are more willing to give, give out information than you, 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 you think. There are some people that are kind of like, of stuck up you know you come across a couple of those who won't try not to tell you information oh I'm it's oh I, I can't talk about that right now okay okay fine whatever but um people love to to give help to others also when if they're 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 able to and that's how I've made a lot of the friends that I I I have now um um so um so for me um so the way I chose um the way the way that I explored my career um so it was to think about three things that I was passionate, that I was passionate uh, about doing. Um, so I knew, um, so I knew, so I knew, so, so I knew I wanted to help people. I did not want to be uh, a nurse or a doctor but I still did want to make a difference. And, um, uh, and so I wanted to be there to support someone when it was needed. Um, um, because, um, because we all have silent challenges. Um, so you never know what someone is going through. Um, so I was talking to my um so I was talking to my job coach um and then he told me um so about this uh, opportunity um to be a case manager. <laughs> And within the job, within the job, within the job description, um, so it had my three things, um, 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 to help people who have challenges. It could, um, so it could be silent challenges, mental health challenges, um, to make a difference and to provide support and the assistance needed. Um, so, um, so from there, um, so it was, so it was pretty, Hazy um to apply and to um and to be prepared for the interview. Um because um because I know what it feels like to need support, um, to need someone to talk to, um 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 for people to not to um for people to not for people to not understand for people to not 
understand what is going on and for people to have patience with you because so as a person who's as a person who stutters we really want people to have patience with us to be empathetic so um uh, so i always try to do that with my clients Um, so can you tell me, um, how, um, so, so can you tell me, can you tell me, Ben, um, how, um, hold on, um, uh, um, so how, does stuttering how does stuttering affect choosing a career um so it can hold you back due to fear uh, of being judged you could fear not being successful um so in your career field and you could fear not being you could fear you could fear not being able to view it as being, to, not being not being viewed as being competent and having confidence for the job. Um. So Ben, can you tell me how does how did how did stuttering? Uh, affect choosing your career? Sure. So, um, you know, as we all know, stuttering kind of sometimes gets better, sometimes gets, gets worse. Um, and it, um, while I, I, I'm thinking a few different things. The first thing I'm thinking is I've, I've kind of always told myself that on a grand scale, stuttering is not going to prevent me from doing what I want to do. So I, I wasn't going to make any big decisions based on the fact that I stutter. I'm going to make sure that I accommodate myself. And, you know, I think I said in the chat, tell my professors when I feel I need to, um, but I, I wasn't going to let stuttering like hold me back from the career I wanted to pursue. So, um, so that's kind of the first thing. Second thing is, of course, you know, stuttering presents certain difficulties, um, at least in my career, you know, in law school, uh, cold calling was a big stressor, uh, you know, in law school classes, unlike undergrad uh, you're, it's kind of, um, it, raising hands in class is really not what you're supposed to do. The professor just calls out students randomly and asks questions, um, and like, you know, tells students randomly to argue different sides of things. So, um, so, you know, being called on at random is, um, stressful, almost as stressful as knowing exactly when you're going to be called on. Um, which I think can be more stressful. <laughs> um, but, uh, so there's that. And then of course, um, you know, representing clients, um, when I first started in my first year of being a lawyer, I was very concerned that my clients would, um, you know, have less confidence in, in me because, you know, when I talked to the judge, I stuttered sometimes and, um, um, you know, clients are not, you know, we, we all kind of hope that, that people are going to be nice and everything, but I mean, it is their lives. Um, and you know, in, in some sense, fair enough. I mean, you want the, you want the person that is, that you think is going to represent your case the best way possible. And it's not really my position to, you know, stand on a pedestal and say, you know, but you got to treat people who stutter fairly. I think that's true, but it's, uh, it's it, it's their life and the most important thing that's happening to them. So I, I kind of get it. Um, but, you know, I, I've never had an experience with a client caring. 
Like no one, what I learned very quickly that no one has cared. Um, everyone thinks I, I do a fine job. They, they don't think the stuttering, like it just doesn't, it's not even a thing to think about really. So, um, and I know my stuttering is pretty mild here, but, but when I'm arguing court, it tends to be a, a fair bit more severe. Um, so, I mean, everyone hears it, knows it. I, I just really have never had a bad experience with a client or a judge for that matter, or opposing counsel, um, you know, being a jerk because my stuttering or thinking I'm at all less competent. So I had the, I had these fears, but, but, but fortunately they've, they've turned out to be um, kind of unfounded fears. You know, people are a lot, as Ashley was saying, people are, I think a lot more open-minded, I think, um and kind than you know we might think they might be so um so yeah i i hope that that answers the question it's kind of a long-winded answer um thank you ben um so for the information for the information that you provided um because um um um, because what you said really stood out. It's that we care more about our uh, we care more about our stuttering and the possible bad experiences than the other people. Um. Um. Then. Then. Then the. Then the listeners who just want to hear what you have to say. So it's really good um, um, to be reminded of that. Um, so Ashley, can you give us your thoughts? Um, how, um, how did stuttering, how did stuttering, affect you choosing a career? Um, well, honestly, um, I, 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 I did a lot of, of speech therapy um, when I was, was younger. Uh, so I kind of lived in this like, delusional world. Um, where I thought when I turned 18, I wasn't going to, 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 to study anymore. And obviously that, that never happened. Um, but I, I guess that, that kind of allowed me to dream as big as I wanted to, which, which, I'm, I'm, I'm grateful for, um, but in, 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 in thinking about it, I also did express a lot of my feelings about my, 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 my stutter through my, 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 my art, um, sub, subconsciously almost, um, and, I, I'm not sure if that's exactly why I, I, I chose to be a ph photographer again, very, subconscious, um, choice of mine, um, But, but like, like, like Ben was, was saying, I never let my, my, my stutter hold, 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 hold me back. Even now, um, I, I, I go up to whoever I want to, to, um, talk, talk to and talk, talk to them. Um, of course, sometimes you get weird, weird, weird. Weird, weird, weird looks, um, especially since I, I close my eyes most of the time when I, I, 
I, I, I, I, I, I stutter. Um, but as soon as I just, just let them know, like I have a stutter, that's, that, that's it. They're just like, oh, okay, cool. Now, 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 now we, we know. Um, and it never really goes beyond that. Um, So people really are a lot more understanding and, you know, open-minded, like Ben was saying about people have other problems going on, you know, how, how you talk isn't the end all be all of whatever you're you're trying to um to um do or whatever you're trying to to con 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 convey and um sure there are hard days where you 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 you'd wish you didn't have to talk to anybody like ever again But I'm 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 glad that my my journey has taken me where it 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 has with my my stutter and all. Um. Thank. Um. Um. Thank you, Ashley, um, so for the information that you provided and also to remind us that, and also to remind us that stuttering may be, may be, may be the biggest problem for us, um, so as people who stutter, but to the other people, um, I'm a, so it could be the, um, so it could be the last thing on their minds and they have and they have different stress they have different stressors to just be to just to just to just be worried um so about how you're speaking to them um so to um so it's um so it's really good to so it's really good to it's really good to be reminded that people don't really care that you stutter um so as much as you think they care um so for me um so for so for my experience stuttering so it did affect me choosing a career but but in a different way so for most of my life, I have, for most of my life, I have let stuttering hold me back. Um, um, not, not take, not take any opportunities, not, not making phone calls and always taking the easy way out. Um, but when I was choosing my career, I wanted to challenge myself because so if I did not do it now, I was never going to do it. Um, because so as an adult, everything fell to me. Um, so, um, so now no one else could make calls for me. No one else could pay for me because now, um, because now, so I had to call my own insurance provider, my own, my own, my own, 
my own my own doctors and make and 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 make my own appointments because no one else could do it for me. Um, uh, so I chose be so I chose being a case manager because I would have to talk twenty four seven. Um, because um, because since being a case manager for um for almost four years now, um, so I've had to um. Um, so I've had to, so I've had to uh, advocate, um, so at school meetings, court meetings, um, hospital meetings, psychiatric evaluations, psychological evaluations, and uh, I have had to, um, to disclose, um, disclose my stutter several times and what i found was that was 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 that people they 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 did not really care they did not really care that i had a stutter um they told me, thank you for informing. Um, they told me, thank you for informing them. And then we were able to continue. Um, they, they never had any questions because, um, um, because, um, because, because uh, they understood. So during our conversation, um, so I may block, repeat words, or speak slowly to be fluent. Mm -mm. Um, uh, so, um, so within my close, um, close to four years, I'm um, so being a case manager. So I've really only had two people who were very rude, but, but. That was because they they were trying to get money, and we don't have any money. Um, so they did not want to continue talking to me when I told them, "No, we don't have any funding." Um, but 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 what I realized was that people are um people want to be helped and they don't really care who <laughs> who <laughs> helps them um so as um so as long um so as long so as long as they can see so as long as they can see that you are doing so that you are doing your best for them um now um um now we're going to talk about how does how does stuttering how does how does stuttering impact your choices. Um, um, so, um, so a lot of times people who have a stutter um, will avoid jobs in the communication fields. Um, they have um they have a they have a less chance um so of taking on so of taking on leadership roles within their within their career fields 
um they fear um 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 they fear they won't get promoted or hired for a specific role be, be, because they have a stutter and and people and people who stutter they have a tendency um 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 to not take on more challenges um um because because they do not want to speak more than necessary um so so Ashley um can you tell me how does how does stuttering how does stuttering how how does stuttering impact your choices within your career field um well honestly um a lot more um a lot there, there there's a lot more talking involved than you would think in photography hey move your head just this way or you know posing people just talking to people engaging with people um being able to build a connection is what i really enjoy enjoy doing um while i'm uh, 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 behind the, the the camera um but for my first um about year or two in 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 school I would use my my friends a lot as as models just because you know they're easy to 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 con to 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 contact um you know I don't have to you know tell a new person that I I I I I I I stutter and I would still be able to get um get my ass 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 assignment done um but I found that using professional models and reaching out to people and um, what I found a lot that has been helpful to me personally in my career is um, post post posting on 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 Instagram saying that I'm looking for models. Um, I did that for my senior thesis project at like a Google Google forms of of 50 people wanting to 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 work with me which to reach out individually to 50 people and schedule a time and date to meet um was overwhelming to me um and and i'm i'm really glad i i i i i i i, I I, 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 I did it though, because I, was able to get a whole new set of 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 models that were on their way to be to working at 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 agencies and being pro, pro, professionals um you know already in the field as opposed to using my 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 friends who I'd like to you know go out with and you know take 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 photos um so it's really at a a a, a a a detriment that i you know used my my um 
my my friends as models. Not not that I don't love them, but that I I didn't venture out into the the field of of people who want to model and want to do this just because I was ner nervous about doing something completely new. I had never, you know, worked with professional models before. Um, and and I I had a great ex ex experience during my senior thesis project. Again, meeting all all new 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 people. Um, I was obviously going to have to talk to them and you know direct them. And um, build some sort of connection with them while 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 we're working to 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 together so for a long that's a long-winded way of saying I let I used to to, to let to let Stuttering impact um, how I went about my 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 career, and I like evidently saw that my photos were a lot better now that I was using professional models. So that kind of like was like, oh shoot, now I you know I I have to do this now. Um, getting me into that that sort of of mindset, I can't go 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 back. Um, so, yeah. Um, 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 uh, thank you. Um, um, uh, thank you, Ashley. Um, uh, um, so I enjoyed, so I enjoyed what you said. Um, I'm also about getting outside of your getting outside of your comfort zone um to try new things um um because um um because so because because uh, it can lead because uh, it can lead lead to even bigger things um so um so ben um can you um can you tell us can you tell us your thoughts um so about how does stuttering impact your choices yeah so there's there's not too much in the way of uh choice in my career um i mean certainly i, I could have chosen to be a I suppose I could have chosen to be, you know, a, a lawyer who reviews contracts and, and does a lot more kind of behind the scenes work. But, um, you know, I, I always knew I wanted to work with people. So, um, you know, that, that wasn't something I really felt, felt too drawn to, um, you know, so after I decided I, I wanted to be a litigator, um, you know, means working on, you know, actual cases, um, working with opposing counsel, the courts, clients, um, there's not too much choice in how much you need to talk, um, or, you know, there's, there's really not a lot of opportunity for avoiding phone calls or whatnot. I mean, you have ethical obligations on how frequently you talk to your clients and, you know, you need to move cases along. So there's not, there's not too much that I, that I could do differently. I think, um, I think I always have a, a slight preference for email over phone calls just because, you know, it's just easier than, than calling. Uh, but I don't even think that's, that's too much to do with my stuttering. It's just, I think I just personally find emails easier. I feel like you get across more information unless it's a bigger deal. Um, you know, email probably suffices. So, 
that's all to say, I don't think stuttering has affected my choices too much because, um, you know, I have certain things on my calendar I need to do and that there's really not the option of not being able to talk. Um, so yeah. And, and like I said, I mean, I've, I've never had an issue with my stuttering, um, in terms of, of, uh, career, um, you know, and, and I, I wouldn't let my stuttering stop me. Um, even if I did had, did, did have a, a bad experience with a client or a judge or anything. Um, you know, there's always going to be the odd rude person, um, but you know, it's not representative of, of people as a whole. So. Um, 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 uh, thank you, Ben, for, thank you, Ben, for what she said, um, so about, um, so about not, so about not, not letting stuttering define who you are or what you do in your life. Um, so, um, so for me, stuttering, um, so it did impact my choices. So in which I wanted to be, so in a role where I would have to communicate, um, because, um, because I wanted to challenge myself, um, to be um to um to be more calm um to um to just to ju to just be to just be more to just be more open while talking because for so many years um so i had <laughs> so i had <laughs> so i had <laughs> held back um so um, so, so, so stuttering, um, so in a way, um, so, um, so, um, so, um, so, it, um, so it has made me more courageous, um, more willing to try new things. <laughs> and more willing and more willing to have patient and to be and to be empathetic um to other people Um, so, so, um, so do you, um, so do you guys have any questions or, or any comments? Yeah, I have a question for Ashley. First of all, Ashley, thank you for your, for your presentation. I came to this for a number of reasons, but first and foremost, I work in, in education and have so for the past 20 years and the education sector is facing a huge a huge mismatch of what students want to do versus what the needs are in the job market i teach adult education uh so 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 my students are 18 plus but the vast majority of them are 18 to 30 with dif with differences as an english as a second language teacher they have they all have differences of some sort be it speech be it language be it um, learning style, be it whatever. So my my question for Ashley is, do you want to be a freelancer or would you rather have a quote, and I'm not making fun of you either, a real job? Um, so right now I, I'm, 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 I'm,
I'm, I'm, Attached to the idea of doing what I love to do, um, I I I. Remember in um in school they would always talk about how creativity is always just 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 needed in areas where people recognize it or not. Um at some point someone is going to have to make something to be able to 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 show themselves as a face to the world, whether that's a brand logo or Imaging for, for, for in, 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 an item you need. Um, right now, I'm freelancing just because I want to dip my toe in a little bit of everything. Um, so, I'm working for a for a pol political campaign that's that that. Document documenting a Senate race here in in Michigan, which is an aspect of photography I I I love, um, and creating content for them. I'm also working at a a fashion startup that is making um, fabrics and textiles and clothing out of biodegradable materials, like in a lab. Um, so I'm kind of all, 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 all over the place in terms of like what I'm doing. Um, my long, my long term goal, I would say, is to, 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 to make work and tell tell stories that need to be, 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 be be told about mainly marginalized pe mm -hmm. pe people um and show that in exhibitions and museums and and in 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 in, in galleries um but art is a very selfish thing it's innately very selfish you have to dig inward of what you want to make and what you want to do um and just acknowledging that is 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 kind of weird to 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 think about sometimes i don't know if that answered your question but oh, it does. It I mean, does it, we we in education don't necessarily know how to respond to the kid who says, "I want to be a YouTuber," or "I want to be an influencer." I mean, we're getting these answers, especially among the younger se sector of adult education. So it's interesting to to hear a another artist's perspective on it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, there's there's there's. There's a lot more need for art and design in a uh uh a, a, a growing economy and a growing world a a growing city um whether it's
sculptures made for parks, which I have have friends doing. And I also have friends who are doing doing murals working with the um the 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 group that's working on beautifying the the city of of De, 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 De Detroit right now um on my I personally believe that everyone will fit where where it's 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 met to and everyone will kind of the sand will will settle if that makes sense everyone will you know eventually figure out where where they 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 fit in in the world but that is a a problem i i i suppose in terms of the 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 younger generation as well i have a uh, I have a question for Ben. Uh, really, really nice to have you on here, Ben. And to see at the beginning of the of the webinar your uh, your experience and background. So in the chat, I'm not sure if you had a chance to see, but in the beginning of the webinar, the, uh, there was a great uh, Pam had posted a, a a good question in the chat about you know how there have there been instances in your lives where you you held yourself back from 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 going into into a certain field or doing or doing certain work as a result of your stutter and up until now i've i'm i i'm i i i find myself fortunate to say that i that, that i have not however if i ever wanted to be a lawyer i would have had serious personal reservations about whether or not uh, 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 I could do that. To be honest, I kind of still have an interest in that now, to be honest. Uh, uh, the law and the, and the legal field as a whole is appealing to me right now. Uh, but anyway, it's really nice to be able to meet someone like you who is not only a lawyer but who is a who who was an active litigator who who is you know who uh, argues cases in front of a judge and a and a jury and I mean so forth. And so my question to you, and this is one of the things where once again, had I wanted to become a lawyer, I would have I would have had had a had serious reservations about how do you or you know you specifically how have you went about debating a case a live case as a litigator while also being while also being a person who stutters and in my mind it's like there's a lot that's working against you as a person who stutters so for one in my opinion, sometimes, all, all, all depending upon the case, of course, the the the, 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 the stakes are high. I mean, or you know, higher, highish for people, right? Like, uh, and like you mentioned at the beginning, you know, it's their lives. It's an important an important aspect of their lives. If if not, in some cases, a person's life is at stake. So the stakes are really high. So with that, so with that being said, you really have to put together a or at least attempt to, to put together a very sound and convincing argument. So how can you do that as a person who stutters? And on top of all that, you're trying to convince a, a, a jury of 12 strangers who might have their own uh, biases and perceptions about you as a person who stutters. So in my mind, that environment, it's it seems to me like there could be a lot that's working against you as a person who stutters. So how have you found, how how have you been successful in that as a person who stutters? How, how have you approached that? Yeah, well, thank you for the question. And um, just as one um, lawyer who stutters to, to maybe 
a future lawyer here stutters if if you have an interest in the law i would definitely pursue it it's a it's a great profession and and uh i i, I would not let let stuttering hold you back but but to answer your question uh yeah i mean there's a lot of things working against you um as an as a person who stutters um i think the the most high stress situation i have had relating to this was I, I i did a federal appeals court argument in april of this past year and it's you know it's it's um three federal judges um and um you know because it's a federal appeals court and it's uh they only give oral argument to certain cases um you know they held it at a law school and there was like a you know 150 people in the audience and then it was like me and the uh we were suing a university so it was like it was me from our side and then like 10 lawyers from the other side um and uh you only have there's like a clock at the appellate level and you have like 12 minutes and like as soon as you start the clock ticks down and there's like it's a relatively hard clock i mean they're, they're not gonna give you a lot of extra time um now if the judges want to keep asking you questions that's one thing but they're not just gonna let you keep talking so it's so yeah, I mean it, it, that that was really stressful, especially the clock, um, because that is a unique disadvantage for me that the other side just doesn't have. Um, but you know, I, I, I in talking with with my bosses at my firm, um, and just kind of reflecting on my own experience as a person who stutters, I I found the best way to handle it was to just incorporate advertising as like my as part of my like very, very brief introduction. So I only had like 12 minutes to make my argument. So I'm not going to spend any more on introductions than I absolutely have to. Um, so it was just like, you know, good morning, your honors. My name is Benjamin North, blah, blah, blah. Um, and I'm a person who stutters, so it just might take me a little bit longer. And then I just moved right into my argument. And the judges were very nice about it. Um, the way oral argument works is they interrupt you whenever they want. And uh, I had one judge on that panel that was, very much not agreeing with me. So it was a bit of a feisty exchange at times. Um, but uh, but it was never um when I when I stuttered and answering questions, I, I never felt like they were being rude because I stuttered or anything. Um judge was rude on on some of my my word choices. I I said I said I believe they asked if something was in the complaint I wrote or I had in the case. And uh, I was like, your honor, I believe he's like, oh, you believe you should tell me one way or the other. Is it or is it not? And I was like, oh, I was just trying to, uh, you know, um, I don't know what I said, like be polite or something, but um, or it's a, you know, a, a turn of phrase. But um, so they're they're a bit aggressive with other stuff, but but never with my stuttering. So. Um, so, yeah, um, I, I long winded answer, but. I, I found the the best way to handle it is just to say it right at the beginning and and not make it a, a bigger deal than it otherwise needs to be. Like I just say it how it is and then I, I move on. And you know, if I don't spend a lot of time talking about it and and everything, it I don't think it becomes a a bigger deal for everyone else as well. Wow. Wow. Like honestly to me to hear you share that and not just that, but everything else you uh, that you've shared tonight. Um, uh, that's such a revelation to me, honestly. Like just as a person, because once again, like I never really, I never really had any real ambition to be a lawyer up until now. Uh, a little bit, I guess. Um, however, um, once again, if I had, I would have. I uh, I would have had doubts. So that aspect of me, I guess, inside is it. It's really so interesting to, and so and um, a, 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 a interesting, a profound, and and a revelation to hear all that. And like it, it, you know, and, you know, and it's funny because what you just shared there at the end is is exactly what I do. Like I'm very open about 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 disclosure in the workplace and my job, you know, um, and that's usually what I lead with and and all that. So. It's so it's funny to me, like that's that is 
uh, as effective for you as it is for me, even though sometimes in my mind, I, you know, I, I, I view what you do as being harder in some way. Whoa. And in actuality, uh, are these, these simple yet effective practices are effective in, in a lot of different areas. So thank you for that. I, I really appreciate that, Ben. Thank you very much. Um, and, and yeah, I mean, I think that's absolutely right. Um, you know, we're all human beings. So I think, um, it, it, there is high stakes, but as you said earlier, I think the high stakes, it's a lot of pressure because of what you're doing. And there's a lot on the line with your arguments and stuff like that, but it's not really pressure from your stuttering. You know, you can kind of like, wow. you know, at least for me, I, I can just, I try to at least distinguish between the two sources of pressure I'm feeling, you know, and the stuttering, it's, it's just like telling anyone else you stutter. I, I, a jury's just 12 random people, right? So they're, they're not any, they're not high and mighty or anything. And a judge is, uh, judges try to be nice except when they're you know pushing lawyers to to be more precise in their words but um mostly nice but thank you i appreciate it um so thank you everyone um for joining for joining the meeting tonight and i want to thank our participants uh, um, um, who were able to provide who were able to provide such such useful information um so bef um so before we end the meeting um um so um so does anyone have any questions or comments? Um, I just have one comment. Mm -hmm. Um, uh, so I want to applaud everybody on the panel because as opposed, um, um, uh, as opposed, uh, grad school, um, uh, so I'm in that transition of uh, trying to find a job. I landed a job and I have a lot of nerves about um, trying to start um, uh, uh, I mean, I start uh, in a few weeks, hopefully, but uh, so I just have a lot of nerves about it. But uh, just being on this call is just um uh, I mean, it gave me a peace of mind if that makes sense. Uh, I mean, just as far as seeing everybody, uh, I mean, their own fields from the arts, uh, I mean, the social work into law, and um, uh, I just doing y'all's own things, and um, um, Uh, I mean, just thriving, really, if that makes sense, as far as that goes. So I'm just, uh, I'm glad that uh, I joined the call and I was able to hear y'all's stories and all those other things. So thank y'all. I'd also like to say thank, 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 thank you all for, um, you know, present per presenting this and providing so much val 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 valuable insight and information, and I'd also like to thank um audience member members um who asked great questions and you know shared great um uh feedback in the chat in the chat in the chat sec in the chat session. Just before you close, I'd like to just um ask everybody to mark their calendars for our next webinar which will be on Wednesday October 25th um and that is going to be uh careers in on 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 
uh, entrepreneurship um, and how to sell yourself as a person who stutters. So that should also be a pretty exciting web 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 webinar as well. And um, again, thank you to all three of you. Thank you. Yeah, so thank you to Annabelle, uh, uh, Ashley, and Ben again. And, and I just posted this in the chat, but I'm, I'm I'm actually starting to get into photography. So Ashley, would love to reach out to you to to, uh, to ask you maybe some questions of more about the field and kind of maybe ask you a little bit a little bit more about your experience and maybe some advice that you'd give to someone like me who's new. Yeah. So so yeah, yeah. I, I, I'd love to reach out to you. Yeah, for sure. I was just typing my my response. Yeah, you can email me or DM me on Instagram. I think I sent my my link. Uh, my website is just ashleyevans.art. Um, I could literally talk about photography for like an absurdly <laughs> long amount of time. Um, All right. So if as long as you're 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 up for that. <laughs> oh yeah, absolutely. So thank you. We'll be in touch. Yes. Yes. Um, so, um, so thank you everyone. Thank you everyone for joining. Um, thank you. Um, um, uh, thank you. Thank you for all of the questions and the comments. And I hope that this webinar, I hope that this webinar resonated with you, um, to, um, um, uh, I'm a, um, I'm a to real um to really to really help you to remember um that you are not alone um we are here um we are going through we are going through many of this many of the many of the same things within our within our with within our various career fields but um but but we're still here and we will not and we will not we will not give up so just remember to not give up and to keep going it's gonna it's going it's going to get easier all righty then guys thank you so much